Hi everyone, um, Autumn here from Studio 23. Uh, even though I'm at home today, um, well, we're a, lot, a lot of us are shut in, right? We're stuck in our houses and um, we're just trying to make the best of it. So at Studio 23, um, since our, our goal is to make art accessible to everyone, we wanna even make sure that art is accessible to you um, at home, even when we're all going through you know, the, the things we're going through right now. We'll leave it at that. Um, so today, I thought I would bring you a project that would be great for young kids and um, probably stuff you have around your house um, to help you um, keep your, your little ones busy. But you're also still going to be able to teach them some things, which is um, great. And I know a lot of us are concerned that they're, you know, they're not going to school right now. Our kids aren't learning stuff, but you, you can teach them these things and have a great time while you're doing it. So today I thought we would make a spring butterfly because uh, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to get outside and start to enjoy some nice weather. So um, you want to start with um, probably like some black construction paper would work. I just have black matte board around my house. Um, so that's what I'm using. I think in a pinch you could even use um, cardstock and paint it black. You just, and it doesn't have to be black, it just needs to be dark paper because we're gonna be using pastels and we really wanna make those pastels pop. Um, so again, black construction paper or dark construction paper. Uh, matte board, if you do have that, would be great, but a dark color um, or even um, a piece of dark cardstock or cardstock that you've painted a dark color and you let it dry. So we're gonna start with that. And then um, I have another piece of, this is just cardstock that I had laying around, but I think you could also get away with just using paper. And this is what we're gonna use to create our butterfly. Um, so I'm, we're folding it in half because the easiest way to make something that's symmetrical on both sides, right? Is to cut it right down the middle, right? So fold it in half and then I just kind of went for it and drew a butterfly. I don't think you have to get too technical with this part. Um, we're making a, a butterfly that's a stylized butterfly. And stylized is an art term that you can teach your kids. And all it means is that you've intentionally treated whatever you're doing in a non-realistic manner. So it just means you made it not realistic on purpose, right? So go for it. Your kid's still gonna love it. It's still gonna look like a butterfly. Just go for it. We're having a good time here. So once you have your butterfly all drawn out, half of your butterfly, I should say, make sure you're starting at the middle and you're only drawing half of your butterfly. Then we're gonna cut it out. Pretty simple. This is, this is pretty simple. And if you wanted to, maybe you have a little bit older kid and you wanted to do something that maybe is a little bit harder, you could, you know, you could do something else. Maybe a flower or trees or something. I don't know. Um, you know, get creative with it. That's the fun thing about art is, you know, trying things and, and sometimes it works and it's awesome and sometimes it doesn't, but it's still learning, right? So just, just stuff like that keep you busy while you're stuck in the house, right? But um, this, this project could easily be for older kids as well. This is a, it's a really pretty project. The way the um, pastels pop against the black really looks great and um, just something fun to do. Something fun and educational to do. So if you can put those together, that's always great, right? All right, so we're getting our butterfly cut out. Now, as my son mentioned earlier, my butterfly doesn't necessarily have antennas, um, but maybe they're there, they're just so tiny that you just can't see them. I don't know. Again, this is a stylized butterfly, right? So it's intentionally not going to be totally realistic and, and that is okay. All right, so I have cut out my butterfly. See, it's good enough. It's, it's not perfect by any means, but it's my stylized butterfly. So from there, what we're gonna do 
is we're going to, we're gonna hold our, first of all, we're gonna have our paper and we're going to, um, uh, we're gonna have it landscape. So we don't want it portrait, we want it landscape. Um, some of your kids at home might be familiar with hamburger and hot dog. So we're gonna do hamburger. Um, and what you're gonna do is we're going to, we're going to hold our butterfly down and, and you know, you can make them kind of going at an angle if you want. Um, might make it a little more interesting, actually. So we're gonna hold it down and then we're going to use our pastels to draw around it. And I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Now, I have some Prismacolor pastels, but if you don't have those at home, that's completely fine. This is basically just like a chalk pastel. And I think the difference really is just there's more pigment in the artist pastel, but you could easily use just regular sidewalk chalk that you probably have laying around in your garage or, you know, whatever. Um, I think that would be absolutely fine. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to hold down your butterfly and you're going to, while you're holding it down, you're gonna start from the middle of your butterfly and you're going to rub your chalk out from the middle. And so what we're basically gonna do is we're going to um, create a radial symmetry. And radial symmetry literally just means um, symmetry around a central axis. So I'll kind of do a little bit here so you have some kind of idea what I'm talking about. And that's another that's another art tip. You're you know, you talk start talking about radial symmetry, you just you're teaching your kids something else too. So they're getting they're getting uh, education while they're having a little fun here. And let's see. try and hold this and try and show you what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, I'm starting in the middle and I'm creating that radial symmetry. I'm just rubbing it right from the middle and then I'm gonna change colors. It's pretty simple. And the nice thing about the chalks or the chalk pastel is one, you can blend it, so that's really fun too. But it's really hard to mess up as well. So see how I'm just moving from one color to the next, almost like rainbow, and I'm just kind of blending it. And I'm gonna do that all the way around my butterfly. So I'm gonna keep going really quickly here. The thing, and you wanna make sure you're holding on to your butterfly the whole time because we really wanna make sure we have that outline. That's kind of important part of this, is that we have an outline of the butterfly. That's gonna be important when this is all said and done. But also notice I'm holding, when I'm doing it, I'm holding it like this. I'm not holding it like a pencil. We don't want that. We want it just like that and you wanna rub it. Almost like if you um, maybe used to do like uh, leaf rubbings when you were a kid. I know my, my mom and dad used to have me do those and those were really fun too. Um, I'm gonna try and hurry up here so I can show you the finished project approximately. him a little bit here's my my finished project and then I'm still gonna I'm gonna try and hold it into place but I'm gonna blend it I'm gonna keep blending it just because it I don't know I think it looks a little better maybe you don't like it and that's fine too right we're we're experimenting and we're just having some fun with art so I'm gonna blend mine out let's see Ooh, I like them 
Now you could easily outline this if you wanted to. You could, um, let's see, I, you can see a little bit where I was trying to move it too much so I could show you guys and there, I got some on here. You could wipe, you could easily wipe that off. You could go over it if you have actual pastels, you could go over it with black. Um, there's a lot of ways you could fix it. If you are that much of a perfectionist, maybe, you know, you're, you're just trying to have some fun and you don't really care that much. And that's great too, because, you know, we're just trying to have some fun and maybe teach ourselves some stuff, right, through all this. So I'm going to outline mine really quickly with some black. You might not have black, but, you know, if you're looking for chalk pastels they sell them everywhere um you know we're not really supposed to be going places right now but you could easily order them online and get them shipped to you um i'm not sure how stores are working with um you know pickup orders and whatnot uh, i know restaurants are doing takeout but as far as like stores go not entirely sure so i guess you might have to check into that but i mean Order them online if you, you know, you'll get them and, and you'll, you'll, you'll use them. You'll use them a lot. So your kid will love them. You'll probably enjoy using them too. Um, don't, don't worry too much about that. So, if, and, and you can find them for inexpensive. If you, you don't have to have the, you know, expensive Prismacolor, especially if you have a young one, because honestly, if you have a little one, they're probably going to break them up and things like that. Right. So break them apart. So you might as well just go ahead and get the, the less expensive stuff. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with, with my little butterfly. But then I think what I'm, what I'm also going to do, though, is um, I really like this cool little butterfly cutout that I have. I don't know, something about it. I think it's kind of cool. So I think I'm going to probably blend... The colors a little bit on the butterfly itself. I think that's probably good enough. And I'm going to keep it folded. And I'm going to actually going to um, I'm going to attach it probably I don't know roundabouts here or so. I'm going to attach it. Make this make this picture kind of multimedia. I think. And then. Let's see. And then I think just to give the idea that the butterfly is coming off the page, I'm going to take my white chalk and I'm going to add a little line. I don't know what you call those little lines to make it look like you're flying. I don't know the technical term, so someone might have to look it up for me. I always call them fly lines, but that's probably not the right term. So I drew my little fly line on there and then I'm just going to attach this guy with some tape, uh, maybe some glue, we'll see. Um, but a super fun, super easy little craft that you can sit right at the table and do with the kiddos. Um, you're most likely going to have most of that stuff around the house. Like I said, um, black construction paper, any kind of dark paper, anything you have will do. You don't need the fancy pastels if you don't have them. Just use regular chalk that you have to draw on the sidewalk with your kids. And um, just go for it, have fun, you know. You sure do a little learning, but have some fun and experiment with it. Uh, hopefully this gave you some kind of project to be able to do with your kids and uh, maybe even gave you the confidence to just go ahead and try it. Um, we'll be posting more videos like this while everyone is, uh, you know, hunkered down in their houses and, um, we're just going to keep trying to make the arts accessible to you in the Great Lakes Bay region. Hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.